हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज जगन्नाथ वेलकम बैक टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल सीएनसी गुरु टैक सेंटर इन आवर शॉप मिल सीरीज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू डू फेस हाउ टू डू पॉकेट मिलिंग साइकिल yesterday we learn about how to do face milling cycle and in today's session we will see how to do pocket milling cycle in pocket milling there are multiple options there are like mainly two options are there one option is uh, square pocket or rectangular pocket another option is circular pocket so first option is a square topic uh, square pocket so we will see how to do square how to give uh, options in square pocket how to create that program for square pocket and then next we will see about circular pocket in next video so before starting to our uh, video i would like to request to that if you are new on my channel kindly subscribe to my channel if you will subscribe to my channel i will get motivation and on the basis of that motivation i will try to give you more solution and enlighten to you so first of all we will see uh, this is my 82 siemens 828 and 840 dsl milling controller we are we can understand what how to under uh, how to see the axis and how to understand the control this is a milling controller x y z axis so directly i will go to program manager option in program manager option uh, we already seen about how to create header for shop milling program so uh, that that uh, detail given in description box already so you just go through that video so you will get more information about how to create header and footer for this shop mill and how to create a new shop mill program so i will not waste time here to uh, tell you the same thing differently again and again so i will just open my existing program and this is my existing program and i given some inputs here how is that input and what is the importance of each and every input we already seen in our previous video description a link is there in description box you so you can go through that so option is that our thinking is that we wanted to do pocket milling square pocket milling so square pocket is a sub operation of milling operation so first of all i will go to milling i will press here milling and milling there are multiple options face milling pocket multi spigots uh, slot thread milling and engraving so my intention is that to create a pocket so i will select second vertical soft key that is pocket in that second vertical soft key there are two again more options one is a rectangular pocket and another is a circular pocket so uh, my today's target is to create a rectangular pocket so i will select rectangular pocket if we will think about the uh, panuk or haas programming method they are like they have like different type of cycles and they have better limitations for that but here we don't have any limitation i will show you how so first of all i will select this rectangular pocket and input is complete this is always it should be complete if any if you are giving this simple little amount of the uh, less information you have to give so first of all you need to select here complete input so input is complete fine yeah t t means tool which tool i should use for my pocket so right now my workpiece size is 100 by 100 so i wanted to create a pocket at center to my workpiece that is 50 by 50 and pocket always we are knowing that we are manufacturing engineers so we are back up in manufacturing practitioners we always knows that we can't create a sharp pocket our pocket ha always have a radius always have a radius and that radius is minimum minimum at least the radius of my cutter diameter or cutter size so our tool should be matched to our pocket corner radius that we should decide before selecting the tool so i am selecting a tool my tool is like i am selecting a um, uh, end milling cutter that end milling cutter is a 10 mm diameter end milling cutter i am selecting and i already taken offset of that so before using any tool you have to take offset first of all how to take off offset and all if you will uh, go through the description box you will see how to give offset for milling cutter uh, height offset or height uh, of milling cutter so you can go through that and you can see uh, learn how to give after that only you should use this otherwise this will be a bigger trouble for you so i am using 10 mm diameter is my work uh, is my cutter diameter and i am selecting this that's it so behind giving this much amount of lecture behind giving this much amount of lecture i wanted to tell you that this is very important to select the proper dimension of the choose uh, diameter of the tool correct then f is a feed how much feed i wanted to give i will give 1000 mm per minute is my feed that's set yes is rpm 2000 is rpm fine and main important thing is that if you are pressing or if you are going to the different different options you can see the one um, message is uh, getting open 
so on the basis of that message also you can give your input to this options so third option is the reference point which reference point should i give here so see there are four different different type of the reference point one is the center reference point second is a corner reference point uh, third is a right corner reference point this this way so this reference point gives you the direction how to create that program or how to give that dimension on the basis of this reference point only you can give the next dimension so first of all i will choose this first option that is a center reference point or else you can choose select this option also whatever option you are selecting you can give as per your requirement that is very easy so i am selecting this corner also no worries i will show you if mistake is there i will show you if mistake will come that uh, under mistake we can uh, learn many more things also so, yeah fine so next option is that roughing or finishing if you wanted to do roughing option you have to select one triangle and if you wanted to finishing operation you have to select th three triangles if you will select three triangles your total depth will get get cut in one up uh, one cut so that we should be very careful before selecting roughing or finishing operation so i am selecting roughing operation third operation is a wall finish for finishing to our wall and fourth option is fourth option is a chamfer so i will uh, create a separate video for chamfering also uh, how to create use chamfer operation and all there is again a different type of beauty in this program so for right now we will see how to give the roughing only that's it set now next option is that single position how much uh, pockets you wanted to create i wanted to create only one of pocket that's it that is sufficient then again input x0 x0 is on on what uh, dimension or on on what reference you wanted to give your starting point and end point that is x0 y0 z0 so if i will press x0 y0 z0 i will just for showing you how it get changes i'm just putting it 0 0 0 don't think more about this i will uh, tell you how to how my dimensions and how my uh, uh, diagram get changed in program w is a width of my pocket so i wanted to create a 40 50 mm width of my pocket length is again 50 mm length that is sufficient yeah and radius so my cutter diameter is 10 mm so radius i can give 5 mm radius so i will give 5 mm radius see so in between this i will press graphic view option if i will press graphic view option you will see that my pocket is getting performed on or my pocket will get performed on this corner so should i want this if you want here on this corner you can give this option otherwise you can give another option so i will put here simply 10 mm 10 mm c where my pocket will get performed this is the beauty of this software this is the beauty of the siemens programming we can easily understand how we are giving our input and is our inputs are correct or wrong so that's it the z0 is a zero we are starting from the zero position so that is a no worries about worried about that w is a width this is a width see starting from 10 mm ending at 60 so is the w is a 50 mm length width and length is a 50 50 mm if i am giving my length is a 60 mm see the difference this way it's very easiest way another option is that we can select a center point of the option if you are giving center point of the option my all dimension will get appear in the form of with reference to center reference so as per your requirement you can choose any 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 option if you now option is that if you wanted to create your pocket it in center of your workpiece so what should i give i will give here see just a one uh, experiment we will do this is 50 50 see where it is going it is going to another corner exactly this 25 will put 25 25 see this is a 25 25 again it is coming somewhere else is it is it is it clear is it right it is nice yeah so we are learning these things okay so as per our condition i will put here 10 10 my and uh, i will give 
this is my size of pocket 50 by 60 r is a radius i am giving 5 mm radius i will again check and i will select i will tell you what is the beauty of selection of this radius next option is angle my right now my pocket is in zero degree angle if i wanted to give some angle i should give some angle and i can give this angle if i am giving 10 degree this will become in 10 degree from this reference it will 10 degree on 10 degree my this pocket will get performed correct if i am giving 5 degree on 5 degree my pocket will get performed if i am giving 45 degree my pocket will get performed on 45 degree see how it will again i am giving here like 50 mm or uh, 25 mm just don't get confused this is very easy and i am just trying to give you different different flavors so on the basis of that flavor you can see see if i am move, moving this way this is becoming this way so if i am giving 30 mm 50 mm see my pocket is at 45 degree why it is looking like this because my pocket is rectangular pocket it's not square pocket if i will create square pocket it will come exactly in this way right is it correct if i am giving here 20 it will again give you an another type of the option and you will select a as per your requirement correct correct fine exactly good then next option is that z1 total depth of my pocket up to what depth my pocket should get created so i wanted to create my pocket for 10 mm 20 mm 50 mm so i'm giving you a 10 mm if you are selecting this if you are pressing the select button you have to give my uh, this abs button will get appear so that time if abs absolute button is coming i need to give minus 10 if increment option is coming i can give positive or value also that will also okay and fine here next option is dxy 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 is dxy is see z1 is a total depth dxy is step over for creating this pocket how much step over should be there always give step over in percentage format so you will easily understand how much step over is coming there in haas or in fanu or in mitsubishi also people are giving step over in the form of mm I don't know and I always feel that this is like very difficult to uh, do calculations. Rather than doing calculations, we can give percentage and on the basis of that percentage, we can easily understand how my tool is getting work or how my tool is working. So I will just press give here 70% or 50% whatever you wanted to give. We can give 50% step origin also. Okay, great here. DZ is a depth of cut. How much depth of cut should I give? I wanted to give you a 1, 1 mm depth of cut. That's fine. So my total depth is 10 mm and if I am giving 1 mm depth of cut, my tool will move for 10 passes. Great. UXY and UZY. UZ. UXY means finishing allowance for wall and UZ is a finishing allowance for slab or for base. So what if you wanted to give a finishing operation after this operation, you can give finishing allowance or if you don't want to give, you can give exact dimensions also again very important point my students are like always going into trouble because of this so we should not face any trouble that is my intention so be careful you should under you should understand this insertion if i am selecting this vertical insertion always keep in mind that before that we should drill you should drill a hole of my cutter diameter then and then only you should use this vertical insertion otherwise my machine will take very high load and because of that high load vibration will be get occur and on the basis of that vibrations my machine will get vibrate and that will directly affect on finishing of my shop sometimes accuracy also and if you are doing this again and again again and again same mistake if you are repeating that time that will directly affect on your machine accuracy so we should be very careful before selecting this option so my always my recommendation is that if you are using vertical or plunge in a plunge type of the insertion that time we should drill a hole that is called as pre-drilling we should drill a hole that 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 hole should be like diameter of my cutter 
okay second is a helical helical is the best option again there is no problem about the helical you can give whatever helical option you wanted to give you can give 1 mm helical this is ep and er 1 1 mm is absolutely exactly fine and this is all like you know very easiest method second option is that oscillatory you can give this type of type of thing ramp ramp depth of cut or ramp insertion we are calling this in the form of cam programming form so i want if i wanted to give you whatever the angle you wanted to give you can give as per your requirement 10 degree is a, again a good option removing compensation machining or no so here we should select this compensation machining no i will tell you in another different uh, uh, video i will give you explanation about this compensation machining machining so this is my cycle how my work piece will look if i will press a graphic view you can see now i will just remove this graphic view option and i will say accept button and i will just simulate this see how it is working will it work that is also a bigger question in front of us how it is working so this is my program is working in very nice format it is taking a ramp type of or oscillatory type of insertion and then moving to the surrounding and creating a 50 by 50 dimension of the square pocket on 45 degree angle this way we understand how to create a pocket in shock so if you have any more questions about this you can ask me in comment box on the basis of your questions i will definitely try to give you a solution and if you are new on my channel kindly subscribe to my channel then and then only i can get motivation from you and on the basis of that motivation i will create new videos for you and you can also share to this channel to your friends for better understanding for everybody we should spread this knowledge we should pass this knowledge to everybody for a great achievement thank you thanks a lot it was a great time with you see you soon